all the details. Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Do you need a little inspiration in your life today? We've got just the thing for you. 12 simple lessons for business and life. Joining us this morning is world champion surfer and best-selling author Sean Thompson. Good morning, Sean. <laughs> Hi, Alexis. How are you? I'm doing just wonderful. Okay, so this story is is a follow-up to the, your original book, which was called The Surfer's Code, right? Correct. This is just the code, which applies to people that aren't surfers, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what made you want to write this one? Well, this book was inspired by a group of of a, a children at a school called Anacapa School, which is in Santa Barbara, and I gave a talk to these kids, um, and then I gave them an assignment, and the assignment was to write 12 promises to themselves, write their own code, and the the answers were so inspiring that uh, I eventually made a book out of it, so it was inspired by young people. You spent so much of your life in the water and on a surfboard. I'm imagining most of your codes have something to do with what you learned in the water, right? Yes, well, I think surfing is a wonderful metaphor for life, that whole notion of, 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 of riding that wave through life, I think, is just a... Uh, is just a wonderful uh, metaphor and I think there's 12 simple lessons in this book that I think are very powerful inspired by young people for other young people and ultimately I'm hoping to create this uh, this wave of positive energy mm. that just travels around the world and young people just writing codes to one another and just inspiring uh, each other through this power of, of, of kind of positive will. That's a great a great thing to keep in mind because there's so much negativity out there now especially for our young kids. It's very dangerous I think being young is very very, very dangerous. I lost my beautiful boy when he was 15 and a half. He died playing a really dangerous game. And the first chapter is about positive peer pressure and it shows what can happen with negative peer pressure. It talks about a time when I was very young, when I was a teenager, and a young surfer who I, who I admired offered me heroin. So I think uh, the book has some very strong lessons in it. I think it's a great book for parents to, to buy for, for, their, for their children. It's also, it was probably a learning experience for you to, to sit down and, and think about these codes for yourself, you know, what is really, really important in your life. Yeah, I think it's a great exercise. I think uh, when you have these core values, it's important to write them down and take action on them. I think until something's written down, you're not really going to take action. So the, bo the book was a very, very powerful experience for me mm -hmm. and to be inspired by young people and, and that energy of youth is just a, just a great feeling and I'm hoping that just young people can keep inspiring other young people and old dudes like myself too. <laughs> oh, come on, you're still young at heart, right? I'm very young at heart. I still <laughs> love to get out there in the water and mix it up with the young guys and, and I still love surfing so much. What, what sort of um, business codes did you learn since you went from world champion surfer, which is a business in itself for sure, to being a best-selling author? You must have learned something about business along the way. Well, I think sport uh, teaches you a lot about about, about business. I think that whole notion of determination and the getting back on your board no matter what uh, um, you know what sort of wipeout that you have. I talk in this book about uh, facing your fears and also about never giving up. I think those are two fundamental lessons that uh, one can learn uh, about business from, uh, from going surfing. So ultimately everything in this book relates back to surfing but I think it has principles that go way beyond, uh, way beyond uh, surfing even though surfing is such an important part of my life. Clearly. Okay, well you are going to be here in San Diego and, and meet some of your fans. Where can we find you? Yeah, I'm going to be here for the next two nights. I've got uh, two discussions I'm having about the book. One at Hanson's Surf Shop at 7 p.m. this evening and one tomorrow also at 7 p.m. At, uh, at Bird Surf Shed. So I'm hoping that people that are interested in the book, uh, young people and, and people my age are going to come along. Sounds like parents and their kids can learn something together with the code. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's something special for both in it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, it was such a pleasure meeting you, Sean. Thanks so much for coming in today. Great, Appreciate great. Appreciate it. Okay, you going to go surfing later today? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I figured you would. Okay. Thanks so much. Coming up here on Good